Good morning. This is Father Nico Montalbetti from St. Luke's in Toronto. Our opening hymn is number 491, The Head That Once Was Crowned With Thorns. to Matthew. Jesus said, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people from one another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand, and the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing? And when it was that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you, and the king will answer him, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, you that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not welcome me naked and you did not give me clothing sick and in prison and you did not visit me then they also will answer lord when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in person and did not take care of you then he will answer them truly i tell you just as you did not do it to one of the least of these you did not do it to me and these will go away to eternal punishment but the righteous into eternal life Today's gospel is, I think, a gospel which reminds us that when we hear something time and time again, we don't always act upon it. This is something that we hear quite frequently. This image of the sheep and the goats, this image of one going off to eternal life, one going off to eternal punishment. And yet, and yet it's interesting because we acknowledge it intellectually, but it doesn't always change us. This is something I think we need to really think about because we as people 
hear so many things in our lives which, if we were to take them seriously, if we were to implement the wisdom which is behind what is said, we would be much better off, and yet time and time again we don't, and we regret it. So often from people I hear, I should have done this, I wish I had done that, I really should have done this and that. And the thing is, hindsight is twenty twenty. But also, there are times we know what it is we are supposed to do. We know what it is we should be doing, and yet, we lack the ability to do that. We lack the ability to take action, make the change we need. The end of the year is coming up, and in church land, the new church year begins in December, the season of Advent. Let this year, whether it's the new church year, or whether it's 2024, be a year that we're willing to take action in our lives, to do what it is we know we need to do, and to follow through. Amen. I invite you to pray the Collect of the Day with me, followed by the Our Father. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, our Lord and King, grant that all the peoples of the earth, now divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his gentle and loving rule, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 378. Crown him with many crowns. <laughs> 